Hello everyone, welcome to another interesting topic on health and fitness. Today we're going to learn together about endometriosis, which is rarely being addressed and talked about though it affects 1 in every 10 women. Because of this, those who suffer from this disease feel hopeless and fearful of what their health is going to be like in the future, especially with their fertility. And so join me all throughout this video and let's know more about this condition. So what is endometriosis? It is a female reproductive condition where lesions start to grow outside the uterine wall, somewhat like endometrial tissue. It can start to grow right up around anywhere, even in the intestines, ovaries, and fallopian tubes. Sad to say, this is causing an incredible amount of pain. Recently, conventional treatments are made available for endometriosis. One major solution for this is surgical excision which involves cutting away these endometrial lesions. With this kind of surgery, fertility can return and pain can be reduced greatly. Unfortunately, there is a higher chance that lesions will return in 5 years. Many kinds of hormonal suppressions which slow down the rate at which the lesions grow are also available nowadays. But this comes with a lot of side effects because it induces estrogen deficiency, depression, bone loss, and many other symptoms to name some. This kind of suppression leaves androgens high in women, the main one being testosterone, causing unwanted hair growth, oily skin, acne, and other symptoms. Recently, Mirena is being used as a method of treatment. Mirena is a hormonal IUD which suppresses the uterine lining and endometrial growth. It doesn't actually stop the population like the other hormonal suppressants. It is because it still leaves some estrogen in the woman's body so they are not getting all those horrible symptoms. Though there were reports that lesions do return despite being on it, at least pain is really reduced which is an absolute priority for those who suffer from endometriosis. The conventional treatments are not keeping up to date with the current research thus failing to address the root cause of endometriosis. Now to clarify things, endometriosis is not like any other hormonal conditions like PMS or PCOS where the hormones are the ones causing the conditions. Endometriosis on the other hand is actually an inflammatory condition while hormones certainly affect the nature of the disease. Basically, the lesions and the rate of their growth are driven by inflammation. There are 5 natural treatments which work wonders because they address the inflammation and help modulate the immune system to function well. They ultimately slow down the growth of lesions in many cases, especially right after the surgery. This is considered the best time to start with a clean slate after removing all the existing ones. They are best used to focus on preventing the return of lesions. Number 1. Vitamin E and C when it comes to endometriosis, studies showed that supplementing vitamin E and C greatly reduce the severity of pain in women. The present findings support the potential role of antioxidants in the management of endometriosis. The intake of vitamin C and vitamin E supplements effectively reduce dysmenorrhea severity, pelvic pain, and improve dyspareunia. Number 2. NAC or N-acetylcysteine this is another amazing nutrient and a pertinent antioxidant to the body. Studies show that it actually has better results than hormonal-based methods at improving endometriosis in women without any side effects like other hormonal methods do. Number 3. Turmeric Another amazing therapeutic herb which is an anti-inflammatory effect in the body is turmeric. Unfortunately, you have to take this in capsule or tablet form since consuming it fresh and raw won't be enough for the dosage needed. Turmeric has actually been shown to reduce the size of pre-existing lesions. Amazing, right? It can also slow down the rate of growth by blocking the stimulating effect that estrogen can have. Number 4. Zinc Zinc is really powerful when it comes to anything being related to something like a control panel telling the immune system what to do. It helps reduce inflammatory markers and cytokines in the body. It works amazingly by repairing the intestinal permeability which is directly affecting the function of the immune system. Studies show that both zinc deficiency and intestinal permeability are common in endometriosis sufferers. Research has shown that women with endometriosis often have lower levels of the mineral. Zinc is an essential mineral that can be found mostly in animal-based foods such as meat, seafood, poultry, and dairy foods. Some vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and seeds provide small amounts of zinc too. Number 5. Probiotics 
This helps repair intestinal permeability, strengthens the immune system, and reduces inflammation. As studies show, endometriosis was linked to dysbiosis, something that imposes imbalance in the good and bad bacteria in women. There was a study that found that endometriosis have less species of lactobacillus. Researchers concluded that when lactobacillus is supplemented, the development of endometriosis is actually being suppressed. Now there is another necessary thing that you have to take note of. Something that you won't take in but avoid instead. Dairy and gluten. These increase the inflammatory markers in the body and disrupt the immune function of the body. Study shows that 75% of women with endometriosis dramatically improved after incorporating a gluten-free diet for months. You should not really underestimate how much a diet can affect your immune system and inflammation. You can directly correlate what you eat with how much inflammation you have in your body at the moment. Also, if you're one of the endometriosis sufferers who experience severe pain, I would definitely recommend removing caffeine and refined sugar from your diet. I've seen these two foods dramatically improve endometriosis symptoms when removed. Remember that we should definitely watch our diet if we want to fight endometriosis. Now, take note of this. Progesterone. This is not really accessible unless you can open up with an integrated practitioner. Natural progesterone could be the best treatment yet because it directly suppresses the growth of lesions while it modulates the immune system. Well, I'm pretty sure that the herbs and methods of treatment that I shared with you are really powerful. I feel that everybody should know these once diagnosed with endometriosis. Are you already diagnosed with endometriosis or are you just suspecting you have endometriosis? Some of the symptoms you have to look out for are severe menstrual cramps, pain when pooping or peeing, especially during your period, unusual or heavy bleeding during periods, or blood in your stool or urine. If you have even one of these symptoms, make sure to go to your OB gynecologist to have it checked so you can have it treated. These supplements that I have mentioned are, as the word implies, just supplementary. So just remember that whatever you take in or remove out from your diet will determine the growth and the rate of growth of endometriosis in your body. Now if you've already tried them and at least one conventional treatment I had mentioned works for you, then I would be so glad. Just continue it. But remember, it can also act as a complementary treatment to what you're having currently. It does not have to necessarily take over what you already are taking in. You can incorporate those herbs and supplements to help support the prevention of lesion growth. But remember to check in with your doctor first. Well, that's all for now guys. We hope you learned a lot from our topic today. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and make sure to turn on the bell notification so you get updated when we post new videos. See you again soon. Bye!